want to brief you all about uh, monsoon wages. Now, why do I call them monsoon wages? As our previous speakers said, no need of any seeds or anything for them. They grow on their own. Uh, permit me to use some little bit of company words here and there. I hope everyone yeah. understands that. Now, I'll start directly, I'll start attacking the monsoon wages. You all must have heard about something called kudduk bhaji. Kuddu bhaji is a green color plant which just grows anyway and it starts with uh, the monsoon. Now you don't need to plant, you don't need to put any seed, you don't need to do. Only thing is it gets uh, growing, it gets growing on its own. Now I'll tell you about kuddu bhaji, it's a very good bhaji. You just have to remove the leaves, the tender leaves and you have to cut them and, uh, and just as we do the okay. other, make the other bhaji, you can make it like that with a little bit of onion and coconut no, yeah, and things like that and a little bit of dal in it and it tastes the best going to the next is uh, we come, have alu 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 grows mostly in marshy lands alu alu it is called and it's a stem it's a red color stem stem plant with a big broad leaf tere 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 you can also call it tere or alu they call it now you can use the stem of it also break and make a dish like how you do samare or, or with a little bit of uh, dal or a little bit of uh, soli and all of that and the leaf also can be made uh, just as how we make uh, bizonche like how we have this uh, wauchi bhaji and all those things like you know the same way so the leaf now that is called alu then there is something called um, tere uh, sorry not tere um, talkilo 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 we call it Taupua. It just grows on any roadside or anything. You just have to remove the tender leaves of it and, and you can make really good bhaji. It is little, slightly bitterish in taste. Slightly, uh, now, ta ta bhaji. It is slightly bitter in, bitterish in taste, but can be uh, used for its... And uh, I am talking about now the medicinal values. It has got lots of medicinal values. Then I go to uh, something called the other things which grow around like uh, uh, a moringa tree. Just the tender leaves of moringa tree also gives you. Plus during rains you can grow all sorts of bhajis. I, you all can ask me and I can tell you which are the bhajis. You can get tamdi bhaji, you can get uh, 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 gosali, podoi, toshi. These are all monsoon vegetable. Uh, they can be grown other time of the year also too. But, but in better to be grown during the rainy season. Now, in addition to that, there are many other plants, many other trees, but only thing is one has to be a little careful in selecting them and choosing them and removing them. Now, if you want to ask anything uh, in a, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm a bit in a hurry, plus I have to give a little talk on, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, the benefits of home gardening. So that I'll keep it a little later. If you want to ask anything about this, or if anything, anyone knows anything or wants to know anything beyond that, you all can ask me. Yes. Now, provided you make a little bit of a bed, you, you, you put a... And it should not be in too much of rains. It has to be when the rain is light, it has to grow a little bit. And make a mud bed, removing all the weeds and things like that. And make it a little higher. To see that and you have to ensure that no water much water remains or you have to make it slightly sloping on all things and at the same time as you said you have to be careful because there are insects also which destroys the leaves the, of, uh, the, of the tamdi bhaji now it's not advisable now but it, there's nothing that you cannot grow during uh, rain 